Welcome back, guys, to Ender Lilies, Quietus of the Nights, where last episode we encountered Ov the Mad Knight at the top of the Twin Spires, battling him within a field of flowers and purifying him to gain his assistance, obtaining the Blood Knight's claws that allowed us to latch onto and climb walls. After warping back to the starting areas to clamber into a section with stronger foes, we then decided to descend into the depths of Land's End and enter the Verboten Domain, encountering its uninviting, poisonous terrain. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, can't go through there. Or I can go through there, and I'm supposed to go through there, but I'm supposed to tank the death poison? You can really say. I have a literal shotgun head. Get out of my way. The noise as well. Like it's some kind of... <laughs> kind of like stomach rumblings. I know you'd be like, your stomach sounds like that? No. But if you get what I mean, it's like that internal kind of... creak that can sometimes happen if you're a little off. <laughs> this is where it puts me into more red stuff and I die horribly. Interested battle here. One final stand. This is definitely our final area. Yeah, I can't get through there. What do you say, guys? Do you think this is way ahead of time and I should leave and go a different route? Curiosity might kill the cat. Or simply curiosity might lead the cat in the wrong direction. But you can't possibly go in and there's no goodies to get. I'm going to warp out for find another respite. Oh, man. It's not like I can't survive versus the damage we're taking, but... It's interesting how this is... 100% designed. Wait, did he just uppercut and kill me? Yes, he did. Okay, I think that is... Probably not for us until we've got some way to, like, breathe in that. If that's even possible. I don't know. But it was interesting to figure out, like, just look into that area a little bit. And see what's in store. Let's try and find one of the routes this way, I guess. Maybe it's like the other M. Valio suit situation? Maybe it is. Maybe I have to get through the area to get the power up that allows me to go through the area. Could be very true. Meanwhile, I should probably not fall into goop just because I'm really interested in getting around places fast. Now, why couldn't I go this way? Good question. I'm assuming it's because I didn't have a powerful enough jump, but... We'll see. Now I'm questioning where I've been or not. Okay, I've definitely been up here. Well, it was the verboten place. It was talk of a mass when they entered the area. It looks a bit dangerous. Okay, so the reason I can't... Oh, shoot. I need to go high. But also, I didn't get this stagnant blight. So I obviously didn't check this far that way. Which is interesting. What if I commit? That's too- Oh, wait a second, I've got climb! Why do I need to jump the gap?
Elaine's Diary 1. Something made me happy, so I wanted to take this chance to write it down. I was able to see Fetia today for the first time in a long while. The effects of purification were so severe, she'd been bedridden for some time. I can't believe they quarantined her in such a place. They're treating her more like an experiment, someone on the mend. I can't even enter without a mask. Ah! I'm not sure how long I can stay, but I want to be by her side as long as I'm allowed. I must get lonely here all by herself. Oh, okay. Found a poison place. By mention of a mask. Uh, let's go. Sometimes I surprise myself with that level luck, you know? This is literally an area we can only enter with the claws. Lane's Diary 2. Today, Freddy gave me the necklace she was wearing. It was a gift from her mother, and I can tell she's cherished it for a long time. It's a protective heirloom, embedded with a magic stone. The stone seems to have broken when Fretia purified the Blighted Lord. I'm sorry to say that my magic alone may not be enough to repair it. I'll have to ask that fool Farden for help. A name that we've just heard two seconds ago. The Amulet Gem from Max HP plus 20. And the Spellbound Anklet slightly increases movement and dashing speed. That is not bad. Light makes it difficult to walk, and so the Black Witch created this for the White Priestess of the Fountain. That seems to be this area checked out, by the way. So it wasn't a forward area, but we did get some diaries, some interesting book stuff. And a new relic. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I was about to say, I've messed that up. Alright, so we need to go down. Not from here. Another path to the right I can take. I want to go down. <laughs> Not quite sure where you fire that all, but it actually is an interesting direction if you want to kill me. Okay, so we can't go up that way. I oh, was still gated here. Also, there's a door there anyway, which I haven't figured out to open yet. So even though I can latch on... To get quite there might be a bit of a hard one. You'd have to do some tricks. And then I don't think you'd even be able to get through the door. So that's a thing. Probably hit that. Oh. He's way better in the. Either in the water or aerial. Oh, he's way better in the water. My goodness, he goes metal. He goes in. There's no way for that way. Trying to figure out your way back through again. So no route that way, but we've got some hints of a mask. Question is exactly where I'm supposed to be going. This area, after all, is explored. Everything should fall to me pretty easily. Where the hell am I going? I think I'm just going back out the top of this, right? Yep. <laughs> Couldn't find the way down. But to be honest, I know this way is just a straight shot to the save point and fast travel. So if I wanted to pick a next location... Kind of back from the save point, to be honest. Three blue rooms to check out again with our current powers. 
Our newest relic. A faster walk speed. Where's that? It's a two. I don't know. I feel like being fast might be pretty good. Because there's missed stuff here. That's the treasure chest. Which is seemingly too high for me to get to. Oh no, wait a second. Yes, I couldn't get over here before. Where's that? Crack familiar stone. A stone once used by a witch to enhance warning spells. Though long time use has left it cracked and faded, the stone is still tinged with magic power. It uses damage received from enemies. <laughs> That's that area maxed out. It's that point where I'm not exactly sure. Where to go to progress next. Strong enemies down one path, which of course I could just play more tactically and make it through that way. There's also some goodies I can get. So within the, that in mind... Right, supposedly a goodie in this room, plus there should be a way upwards into another room. that has a power-up that's unobtained within it. So let's go up here first. I remember there being lots of fighting here. You know? Rip apart that dog. I think it was via jumping that I couldn't make things. Oh, wrong button. Those dogs really are troublesome no matter what. Fast moving aggressors, they suck. Also, Sam that just charges himself at things is probably a bit dumb too, but you know. Well, that's high up. I could definitely get that, though, however. Of course, that being high up there wasn't actually a thing, because we can't go to the right. This room is enclosed. But the goal was just to hit that. <laughs> the blight over here, right? That's what we're after. Here is Blight times 10. That's that area cleared out. Do you notice any difference in run speed, anyone? At all? Oh, I actually do go out there if I jump there too. Hey, ideally, I would like to find the goodie here, too. Something tells me it might be as we jump. Oh, damn it. That was going to be where... Oh, no, I didn't have to make my jump from there. Looks like I can make my jump from here quite fine. That's the way out here. But I did not find the goodie. Haha, <laughs> found it. Only available with that skill, in fact. Stagnant Blight times 30. And that area is cleared. There we go. Bigger section of the map and a new area too. Oh, with mines. I didn't need mines. Oh, shoot. They seem to... 
React. Are there proximity? Definitely activating because I'm going near. Well, that's not worrying at all. I just won't hit them, right? Oh, it just got dark. That's fun. Darkness envelops this place. Let us proceed with caution. This might be an area, a new area too. Oh my goodness. I guess it's only if I hit it directly I'm going to blow up. Oh, and they move too. Seems to sweep high, so I've got to wait for there. Joy, joy, joy. Lots of mine. I've got to go through the middle of them. Great. Um... I can't stay any longer, but I can't move. There's only pain. Let me purify you while I'm in the middle of this death trap. It's a mine in the... Oh, it's just in the floor normally. I guess you got to hit the center. Spiky bits are warning spikes, we'll call them. Whoa. <laughs> if that is like I really don't want to find out what the hitbox is do you know what I mean I really don't want to find out I keep dodging through them and maybe that's giving me the iframes to make it just don't know. <laughs> Either I'm just incredibly good at piloting right now, I don't know. Or their hitboxes are very tight. And that's the whole point. Whoa. Okay, hitting them takes a lot of HP, so they don't explode. They do take a lot of health. An amulet fragment gets me plus five, so I bumped into one. We've got all the goodies in the area too, so we don't have to come back here once we've traversed it, which is a a good sign. I hit one. Luckily I had the HP to tank and survive. And I made it through. To where? The stockade! A completely new area has been reached. Those are called Gloom Glow Flowers. How they flourish despite it all. They glow oddly luminous no matter how dark and gloomy the environs. Looking at them at night helped ease my dispirited slumbers. Someone else I knew was fond of their luster as well. Phew! Kind of seemed like a twofold thing, didn't it? So, crap, familiar stone reduces damage received from enemies on a free. Better than the broken music box. <laughs> Just need more things. Look at the enhancement we can do at the moment 65 and 55. <laughs> Trying to build it up. Executioner's vow. In the darkness of the night, our shadow protects land's end. We are the judge and executioners of the sinners who lay buried in the depths of the earth. We hold no glory, land, or family to our name, and offer our lives whole to serve our kingdom until our dying breath. Whirling noises. Not the dogs again. Also, six exits from this area. I say they die. 
at about the pace we'd expect. That sounds like a ninja. Oh, that's why. That kind of little rooms with prison imprisoned enemies in them. Forbidden text scrap. Many attempts to be made to create new life through magic. The creation of artificial life. It is thought that by guiding a spirit into the body of a babe, the child will retain control of their body while inheriting the power contained within the spirit. The creation of sentient rock for... Sentient rock formations? Like we're getting a little bit extra story here. Yeah? I am literally nearly died just from the poison in this room that just exploded. What a nasty setup. There's another additional relic slot. That wasn't dangerous at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I can't. I didn't fall for the trap. <laughs> Before the reign of death, this place must have held many of the afflicted. Many indeed, but I only fell down a hole. <gasps> Whoa! got teleporting executioners now. Because we need that added in. Oh, doggo. Hmm. I think I know which one's the enemy. Why can't you hit? <gasps> it's a secret experiment. Looks like another spirit. I thought I could sneak away in all the commotion. This is what I got. Another spirit to add. A furry worm in a pot. Hidden test subject. Uses the urn holding the test subject's body as a shield. All time blocks unleash a counterattack on surrounding foes. Is that an AoE counterattack? A heroic bandit who was fearless and confident until he was branded a sinner and taken to the verboten domain as a test subject. There he would oft hide in urns to escape to the twisted experiments. Seems to have become one with the urns. Wasn't expecting for a boss health bar to appear. Now watch out for more teleporting executioners, I guess. Now, oh, speaking of. Speaking of, level 59's reached too. Better ask what danger's in here, but. Oh, that's interesting. I can't actually make it upwards. Well, that's untraversable for me. Unless maybe this loops into it? Okay. 
Get me out of here, will ya? Ten more furious blight. <laughs> Doesn't seem so. So, that's an interesting area in the next room. It's again another movement ability that I do not have. Speaking of, another ability that I do not have. Staring me in the face. Taunting. Why? Will I head down? Oh, I can't get back up. Oh, not good. That, what was that? I don't think I can get back out. Hmm. Some kind of rat spawning den. Definitely a different uh, lot of enemies we're seeing here. So this is a rest place. I may as well check out this area first. Ah, oh, shoot. Mines. More mines. Another place to smash through a wall. I can easily dispatch a lot of our foes. Seemingly can't find anywhere that gets me a lot of goodies, so that's a route. yet I mean to be honest if I get hit by one mine why does he get hit by the mine that's what I'm wondering some more stagnant blight can't even get all the goodies here when I think about it Goodness, I found a little pocket there about poison. I do not have enough HP for this. I could go pop at any time. But there's a merman. Change to the wall. More stagnant blight. Again, is there much reason for me to explore these areas if I can't get all the goodies? <laughs> Thankfully, I can slightly cheese this one. Oh, suddenly I got out of range. Am I already headed through here? Wait a second, have I been on a loop? Yes. Yes, I have. Well, this game seems to have a lot to it. And a hell of a lot to explore as well. Where's the rest section here? Maybe there's a little bit of a letter for me to read. Maybe there also is not. Couple of chairs to sit upon. Our newest spirit. The hidden test subject. Can be used aquatically. And we have 
enough to enhance one of our, I'd say, lesser spirits at this point in time. I know if I do the shield guy, or if I do the hidden test subject at this point, if it can actually AoE counter, that seems pretty good. Maybe it does more damage. Slower cooldown. But I will think upon it for next time, because we are coming, or we are at, more to the point. The end of another session. The end of our first session. Because it seems there's a hell of a lot more to explore. So many pathways, little extra bits that haven't been checked out. And so much still incomplete in order of finding. Because I need powers still even more to break through. Possibly a boss at the bottom of this bit, for example, but I need to be able to break through it. Maybe I should just try the hammer. That is a question in and of itself. Maybe we'll try that next time. Join me then for more Ender Lilies, Quietus of the Knights. See you guys then for more Metroidvania goodness. Bye-bye.